Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here, and it is mail time. I got a package today, and that package was from mycomicshop.com, and what I want to point out, uh, great packaging, the way they've shipped it, and it also came in such a big box like this. Box like that from mycomicshop.com, and I don't know why, you know, like Midtown, even though I still order occasionally from Midtown, I don't know why Midtown can't do this. Big box like this, only for 10 items. And I was only charged 1050, 10.56 for that shipping. So, anyways, that's whatever. <laughs> um, and let's just open it up. Let's show you what I got. This is gonna be a fun one to uh, show you guys. Let's see what else can I get here? Supreme packaging for sure. I won't shank one of my products here. <laughs> This was my actual first order for myself. Uh, the first order that I've, I've made a little while ago, as you guys probably saw, um, from my comic shop, uh, was for Phil, for his birthday gift. And he's the one who actually I, who turned me on to uh, mycomicshop.com. Um, I'm getting my desk here. And uh, I have purchased from mycomicshop.com's eBay store uh, occasionally in the past, which uh, I believe I've always had a great experience with that. But uh, I've come to find uh, I'm enjoying the the website, so um, I'm sure besides this, I'll be making more purchases in the future as well. So great packaging. Nothing's going to happen to that stuff. Uh, but it looks like quite a stack. I hope you guys enjoy the stack. As, uh, I'm sure I will. Get that out of the way. And let's show you some comic books. Okay. So here we go. Commandy. Issue 9. And, uh, yeah, they've wrapped them in plastic. You have an option to get bags and boards, uh, but that does cost just slightly more. Um, but, as you see, they just bag everything um, and, uh, and then wrap it all in plastic. I think there's books, if they're worth certain amounts, they will bag those, though. So, issue number nine. Connell, quit making funny noises. Awesome. You'll see a little bit of a theme as we go... Uh, Go on here. Nice wraparound Excalibur issue 71 with a Phoenix Force on there. And let's see if you can get to see the hologram here. Pretty shiny. But, anyways, that's a nice hologram of um, Nightcrawler. It's hard to get you to see that hologram. But with the Phoenix on the front. Wraparound. Look at that. Uh, Colossus. Kind of looks like a mix of Mr. Sinister and Colossus. So it's that one. Excalibur 71. It got them all for great prices. Some of them in the book are worth um, an okay amount. But my comic shop, I got a great price. So this is uh, X-Force issue 25 with a um, cable. Um, hologram. Let's wrap around. And you guys saw in one of my previous videos, I did get the X Men 25, which was supposed to come in uh, this order, but wasn't able to. And then I just ended up picking it up at a comic shop. So I do have now, um, I believe, all the Fatal Attraction, Fatal Attraction's, uh, you know, story. This is X Factor 92 with uh, Havoc hologram. I'm not sure. I know I've seen that character before, but I can't remember who that is. They're beautiful wraparound. And I've mentioned before too. I do have the issue um, 75 of Wolverine that was part of this Fatal Attractions. Um, it has a Wolverine hologram on it, but on my Wolverine hologram it does have a scratch across here that skews the hologram. So I may in the future get another copy of that. Uh, here's uh, Uncanny X-Men 304. 
with a Magneto hologram on there. Again, hard to get you guys to see them, but Magneto hologram. And that issue 25 is where of X-Men is where Wolverine gets the adamantium ripped out of his body. So those are really cool, I think. Um, I think they'll be good reads. And beautiful, beautiful looking covers. I love those kind of covers from the 90s. Okay, we have here issue 12 of Commandy. Um, let me see, what issue, what's the highest issue I got? Yeah, so after this order, I probably have a total of like 19 Commandies, 1 through 19. They're awesome. I love them. Going to continue getting them. Until I'm all done. I think they're... How many was there? 40-something? Yeah. Number 15 of Commandy. Tufton and... I can't remember that. The Canis. Dr. Canis, I think. Let's see which ones are these ones. And some Commandies that came in, um, I think, a higher grades or something, so they were, uh, begged, I guess. Yeah, fine. This must be a 6.0. Uh, so, 10. And I do believe the commandies come in a, you have to put them in a silver bag. They're slightly bigger. So it's issue number 10. That's actually a really awesome cover. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that crazy bat. That's wicked. Great Kirby artwork, and I love his stories. Awesome stuff. It's really going to be one of my favorite covers now, too, I think. That bat cover, that's awesome. Woo, crazy worm. That must be what happens to the uh, tequila worms in the uh, commandy future. <laughs> Instead of you eating the tequila worm, the tequila worm eats you. Um, so that's issue 18 of... Commandy. That one's supposed to be in a fine condition. Seven. And the last one, issue 19. Look at this mobster car. They're in Chicago. Yeah, read the hidden secrets of the last gang in Chicago. That's awesome. I think I'm going to be really happy with all of those. Um, it was a great order from mycomicshop.com. I got more stuff on my my want list. Um, so, yeah, I'll definitely be making some future purchases. Um, another order probably this week, even. Um, so yeah, so if anybody has read any of these Fatal Attractions, um, definitely leave your comments, leave your um, thoughts about those. I know everybody loves the uh, Commandies, so you can never really go uh, wrong with those. So yeah, that was my actual first order for myself from MyComicShop.com. Really happy the way it came packaged, happy with the condition um, of the books, and definitely going to return to that shop for some more. Alright, thank you guys for watching, leave all your comments, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.